All right, guys. Private parts grew up. It's got 37 inch tires now. So we are gonna get our Super Chips Flash Cal installed finally. I've had it, it's from Uranus, and um, I just haven't gotten around to putting it in. So first step, putting this bypass module in. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is looking straight up from the floor mat. There's your OBD2 sensor. And then if you go right there, there's two clips that we have to disconnect and connect to that bypass module. So let's do it. Alright, so this is where I'm going after. Let's see if you can see. Good lighting. See those? Okay. Those wires. There's two clips. You're supposed to just be able to pull it, push in the clip, and pull. So we're gonna try it. I can be able to see better, but I must know. Clips in the back, not the front. I might need a tool for this. Nope, got it. There's one. Let's see if I can get a better visual for you. Probably not because I'm being dyslexic right now. Two more. All right, there's the other one we gotta get right there. Okay. Yeah, so in the back of it, there's a push tab. You just push, pull, push it towards your face because everything's so tight and pull the wire straight down but apparently I need two hands for this job this is how hard it actually is not how easy other people make it look all right wire tab pull boom all right it's way easier to get one finger one finger behind it, pull, use your other hand to pull the wire down. All right, next up, these two guys. Now that we have these two unconnected, take this bypass module, and there's a big one and a little one with clips, big little. So we're gonna make them happy inside of their new home. Yay! Next step, we're gonna zip tie that, but you won't be able to see it very well, so I'm just gonna put it up there. That's what it'll look like. Boom! Alright, next step, we are going to plug this bad boy in. See what happens. I haven't updated this, so hopefully it's gonna work because it's a new Jeep now. But. Tire size and calibration, we wanna do that. Oh, I gotta go get the key, hold up. All right, got the key. So, turn ignition to on. So we go over here. One. That's run. Do not start engine, but turn it on. So boom, all right. I had to think about that for a second. Enter. Oh, left arrow. 
we're resetting it because I turned in my old lease and now I have my new one so this is one I bought because I'm addicted bing 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 all right now it's locked to this vehicle so don't ask to borrow it it's already on All right, so that's what I was worried about. I gotta update it because this vehicle's newer. So, hang tight. Yeah, we're gonna plug this in. Nice, tight fit. That turns it on automatically because it needs the power. And follow the directions. It's already set at options and tire size calibration. So we're gonna hit okay. Now we're gonna turn the Jeep on again. Do not turn it on just you know, don't push the brake, but hit the button twice to start it. Then press OK. Listen to the beep, beep, beep. The vehicle, I don't know, running or vehicle? Engine, route crawl. Yeah, I don't want that. I want the vehicle settings, tire size. So I forgot to measure, so hold please. All right, so the measured height is 36. It, I don't know. I feel like it could be a little more, but I'm just gonna go 36 for now. Okay to save. And we're gonna turn her off. Okay. And turn it back on. Okay. All right, so we should be good. Next time we go for a ride, our speedometer should be correct.